Welcome to Kado and Janko Wednesdays at Lunch Burger, Burger Edition. Edition. Oh, a little bit of spooky sound yeah. in, uh, in our voices. Yeah, we just got through Halloween weekend. Halloween was yesterday. Yeah. And so we figured uh, we should probably get some kind of spooky burger, some kind of creepy haunted burger. Yeah. Matthew, was your burger this week haunted? It was uh, nearly not haunted because... Uh... Uh, let's let's not bury the lead. We got a a black bun we burger. Got a black bun burger. Uh, so this is uh, witchcraft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This was a uh, Pisolero on Bishop Street. I uh, don't have the address ready. Look it up yourself. No. Um, uh, Pisolero offers a burger with a squid ink bun. That's how it is black. There's some squid ink in the dough. It was squid ink, eh? Yeah. I was kind of hoping it was just food coloring. Yeah, you would. It's kind of sickening. Do you recall last year, um, uh, uh, Burger King had a black Whopper, a black bun Whopper. Okay. And black Whopper just sounds like a really racial, like, (laughs) (laughs) term. Um, But uh, no, it's a black bread Whopper. Okay. Black um, bread Whopper. Same, same problem. Oh, well, okay. Right. Um, maybe that's more on you. But <laughs> but uh, the reports days after this Whopper was released was that it was turning people's poop a, a deep, dark green. Ah. Um, did you have that situation with this burger, Matthew? I haven't, but now I only ate this burger last night, and I have not passed a bowel movement yet. Okay. I ate the burger on the weekend. And no, no, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. No, good. So, so it's they're being honest because I think the thing with Burger King is that they said it's it probably was probably food coloring. Yeah, and I think they were trying to say it wasn't food coloring. So, then, why is making my poop such an odd color? That's the that's the big debate. Mm. So it landed them in some hot water a year ago. Mm. Uh, you know, they almost weren't able to get me the black bun when I went to Pistolero's How- yesterday. I was like, it's Halloween. This is your Halloween burger. It will no. It's their all the time burger. Oh, it's their all the time burger. All the but time the burger. black bun isn't always there. Yeah. Oh well, I asked them yesterday, and they were like, "Well, we might not be able to do the black bun. Not sure if we're still doing that." Oh, really? And I'm like, "Oh, I'm just like, but the burger is the exact same burger. Hmm. Just the bun won't be black." And I'm like, "Well, regardless of the color of the bun, I will have I that. We'll have that burger, please." Um, no, I went there months and months ago, probably uh, early summer, midsummer, and I uh, was offered the black bun burger, and. I did not feel like a burger that day, to which the bartender was surprised, knowing my reputation. And uh, <laughs> I went back. I went back on the weekend and grabbed the burger. I just walked in. The place was hopping and happening. And I just said, hey, your kitchen's still open? He said, yes, for another two minutes. I said, give me that black bun burger. And he did. Okay. He offered extras, uh, cheese. Yes. For and- uh, $1.50. Yes. And bacon for $1.50. Yes. I said yes to both. And uh, were you surprised at all when you did not get bacon or the kind of bacon you thought you were going to get? I I thought I didn't get bacon. You thought you got chicken, didn't you? Big old slab of chicken on yeah. top of that. Yeah. Wasn't that chicken? Apparently, when we asked the guy, we you know, were like, this, uh, this is bacon. And we seem to have gotten this uh, cutlet of chicken on yeah. top of it. Uh, but apparently that was bacon that was just a much thicker cut. And what? it didn't it didn't get crispy because it's too thick, but it's cut from the same part on the pig as where no the bacon way. is. No way! I thought it was chicken. Yeah, that's crazy. No. I was positive it was chicken. Yeah, no, we, uh, we asked him, and uh, no, that was bacon. Even though it, it's a little misleading, though you don't say bacon because it's different. You want bacon, you think of you a should, crispy bacon. Yeah, you should up. You should sell that then for yeah. what it is yeah. because I thought it was. I thought it was great. Yeah, I thought that. What I thought was chicken was great. Yeah. I'm like, well, they made a mistake, but they also added chicken to it. So I'm not going to say anything. Hmm. Uh, I do feel a little foolish now, though, because you're saying this is an all-the-time burger. Mm -hmm. I went in there. I didn't even see the menu. I was like, I will take your Halloween burger, please. (laughs) Uh, And then I elaborated to say it was a black bun burger. And (laughs) now I realize that it's not uh, anything to do with the holiday. Nope. It's just a black bun burger. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Matthew, Halloween just passed. 
What did. did what did you do Halloween weekend? Halloween weekend. Um See, I had, I had planned to go out. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. There was a friend of ours, a mutual friend, who's having a party. And I was like, oh, there's, there's something to do. I'll do that. And I went out looking for part of a costume. Mm-hmm. Needed overalls. Jean overalls. Denims. Mm-hmm. Um, very hard to find. I went to Value Village. Thought for sure they're going to have something. I went around the whole area and nothing. And then I went to Walmart. I'm like, for sure, Walmart's got them. They've got a whole section of... Big old denim uh, overalls. Nothing. And then I got so depressed that I couldn't find, in this day and age, I couldn't find overalls. And so I didn't do anything. I didn't go out. My costume was ruined. Matthew, I'm right there with you. On Friday, <laughs> I did the exact same thing. Yeah. I, <laughs> I uh, The new Mario game was coming out. And nice. I figured I was going to play Mario all weekend and dress up as Mario for Halloween. I went to Walmart, picked up the new Mario game, then wandered around looking for overalls. They had beige overalls. (laughs) Okay. $60 beige overalls. That wasn't going to do the trick for my Super Mario costume. No. I went to Canadian Tire. I went to Winners. I thought maybe Canadian Tire is the type of place that might have like a worker's clothes. Yeah. Nope. No luck. And then Winners was a last ditch effort. Like who knows? Maybe there will be some ladies overalls I could find there. Nah. And so uh, I went home and played Mario, and my costume was not as good. Uh, I imagine you were going to go as Mario. Oh, I still went as Mario. Okay, I see that you you uh, have shaved a little mustache onto your face, shaved around the mustache. That's, to, that's to right. Create that's right. the mustache. Yes, yes. Effect. I, I had a beard, and on the Saturday, the night I was going to a Halloween party, I got a shave and said, "Don't touch the mustache." And uh, <laughs> uh, he did not. Uh, so I had just a mustache and a Mario hat and a red shirt and blue jeans. Okay. And, uh, I wore a re- a blue hoodie. I figured that kind of did the job of not quite overalls, jeans and a hoodie. Yeah, I guess. You, and I figured, you know, Mario's from Brooklyn. I guess I'm like hipster Mario, like a more modern Mario. I've got a hoodie on. I've got blue jeans. I'm not wearing overalls. I've got a hipster mustache. It all kind of works for Mario no? Yeah, I guess from the, the Mario from the new, the new like, generation. Yeah, exactly. Mario. Modern Mario. Yeah. He's, uh, well, maybe he'd be wearing those jean overalls uh, ironically. Yeah, perhaps. That's, that's true. That's but true. They're really good for He probably storage. wouldn't be a plumber. He'd work like uh, in IT or something. Yeah. But, I mean, those overalls are real real good for keeping all your wrenches and uh, that's true. equipment. But when you work in IT, you don't need all that stuff. It's true. It's true. Um, the Your weekend... Mm-hmm. Sebastian, less of a Halloween weekend. Yes, it was. You, you had dubbed this Super Mario else. weekend. Super Mario weekend. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I. I'll let you talk talk a little bit about it, and then I want to like I want to come in on this. Okay. Um, I uh, realize I <clears throat> I usually have Fridays and Mondays off from work. I have some Saturdays off, and I realized coming up, this game was coming out. And this particular weekend, I was going to have three of four days in a row. So I just switched out one of those days so I could get four consecutive days of playing the new Super Mario game. And I figured, this is going to be like Christmas 96 all over again. I'm going to be able to just hold myself up in my apartment (laughs) and play Mario for days on end. Um, There were a couple interruptions, I guess you would say. Yes. Um, There was a Halloween party I had to attend. Um, had to, didn't have to, but I wanted to. Had to make an appearance. Uh... Had to make an appearance. I stayed there for hours. Um, and uh, so, so that was, you know, a little break from playing video games. I mean, I got the video game on Friday, went home, and played it for like thirteen straight hours. Yeah. By the end of which, my eyes were getting a little crazy. Um, <laughs> I needed to go to bed. I did more or less the same. I played like a good six, seven hours the following day uh, before my good friend Ellis Steinberg gave me a text surprise text hey you want to come to the hockey game pleasant surprise i said heck yes i was already planning to go to a friend's house to watch the game i got my mario outfit already zipped over to the hockey game as as we arrived at the bell center he starts telling me they're not great tickets i'm like oh don't worry about it they're they're free tickets that's that that's great already and there's no bad seat in the bell center we're gonna have a good time and we go in and i start walking towards the escalator to head upstairs he's like no no it's this way and so we start going for them like oh maybe there's another escalator i don't know 
and then he like pulls a curtain and we're in the in the lower bowl and i'm like oh my god this is these are great seats i'm ready to start walking my way up in the lower bowl and he's like no 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 and he starts leading me down we were in the ninth row he completely lied to me to uh further the surprise of Ah. how great these tickets were was he aware of how great the tickets oh, yeah, were? Oh, yeah, he knew. He, just, he knew. He just like, usually I'm in the first row. No, usually no. I'm on the ice. <laughs> no, he knew. We were in the ninth row, uh, not far from the players' benches. I sat down and was like looking around and started hitting him a little bit. I'm like, this is amazing. This is great. <laughs> um, and uh, Canadians won. So oh, that was good. Nice. In a bad season, this was a good game. Yeah. Hopefully a turning point. He said he's good luck, and uh, he started claiming it was a turning point. The following game, we played even better. So hopefully... This this good good luck streak continues. Yeah. You, you've you've done little minimal fist pumps as yeah. you were saying that just, just to, a little to get bit. it through to the audience. Just a little bit. It might be your mustache. That might be. You it. did go dressed as Mario That's to right. the hockey game. I'm surprised you didn't bring your Nintendo Switch. Uh, that seemed like a bad place to do it. There's metal detectors and stuff. They would have been like, "What is this? Why did you bring it here?" Uh, it's I like, it's Super Mario did, Weekend. Did, didn't you know? <laughs> um, I, I do want to ask quickly, is Steinberg, is this the same Steinberg uh, as, as the family grocery uh, chain? I don't believe so, no. Ah. I don't think there's any relation. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, went to the hockey game, left the hockey game, went to go get a couple hot dogs on the way there. Okay. There was a lone Luigi walking down the street. Oh. Uh, and, you know, we, we sort of greeted each other kind of calmly. Like, <laughs> like we, we, like, tipped our hats to each other. Like you had a falling out 20 years ago. And, and we're just... like, now we're, we'll, we'll give each other a knowing nod now. Yeah. Um, you know, I got to, I got, I uh, was buying the hot dogs and the cashier was like, oh, where's Luigi? I'm like, oh, I just saw him on the street, actually. <laughs> um, went to that Halloween party, uh, imbibed many drinks, uh, left there far too late, woke up very late on Sunday, but didn't matter. All I had to do on Sunday was play more Mario. Yeah. The only person waiting on you was Mario. Yeah. He's just sitting around checking his imaginary watch. Mm-hmm. Shaking his wrist to make sure it was working okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, what does he do? What does Mar- Idle Mario do when <laughs> he does some stretches? Okay, you know some knee bends. He sort of like stretches his legs out, and then if you leave him long enough, he lies down and uh, takes a nap and uh, very quietly says some things. I turned up the volume, but could barely <laughs> barely make out what he was saying. But I think it was just like back in Mario sixty four, where he's dreaming about pasta. Ah. Just like a real Italian plumber. <laughs> yeah. Just like, oh, lasagna, oh, spaghetti. And then every now and again, it's like he's a, like a dog having a dream. You know when you see a dog sleeping and like it starts like kicking, mo- moving its legs a yeah. little bit and it's going like, wah, wah, just little soft low barks. Mario <laughs> does the same sort of like jump noises, but in his sleep, so it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> very like, cute. So he's dreaming about these adventures. It's, you know, yeah. Do you think that takes any of the um, uh, credence out of that this all might be a Mario dream if he dreams within his own dreams? Um, that's a good point. Uh, I'm going to say it's not a dream. Okay. Uh, it is a fictional reality, but I think in the context of this game, this game is not a dream. This game is happening, and uh, maybe all of these quote-unquote adventures are... Uh, give him PTSD, and in his in his sleep, he still is uh, think of jumping on turtles. Okay, <laughs> I like how he's still dreaming about pasta dishes too. Yeah, well, yeah, not dreaming about saving a princess. Honestly, at no point the in the game can make him the pasta. I played that game for nearly thirty hours over the course of the weekend, yeah. and at no point did I stop and like slurp up some spaghetti. So he must be starving. He's running all over the place. <laughs> I ate far more than Mario did during the course of that game. Yeah, you'd think in between collecting some moons, he'd just stop for uh, some sort of uh, cannelloni. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, now, you basically, to say, to sum it up in a different way, you, you just took a four-day weekend to play Nintendo. Correct. And that's fine. I, I, you know, I, I admired that. I kind of wished I could do that. I haven't had more I mean, than two consecutive days off since like I March, know. so I felt, why not? But I did find it humorous. And then I, I was looking on Facebook, and you had just it was riddled with <laughs> with posts. Super Mario Weekend was it hashtag Super hashtag Mario Super Weekend? Mario yeah, Weekend. hashtag Super Mario Weekend. All these posts, and I'm like, oh, this is a pretty big, uh, big event. Like, and I, uh, but they're 